Good morning you guys since i've been recently waking up at 5 a.m i thought why not challenge myself and make it an hour earlier and see how four o'clock feels because i'm a little insane and i feel like it would be a good video idea so i'm like you know what we're gonna wake up at 4 a.m and see how it compares to five because why not don't worry i don't think i'll go earlier than this like i don't think you'll be seeing it 3 a.m. morning routine. But anyways, good morning. Today's gonna be a really fun day because I actually am going to like one of my first workout classes that I've like ever done in my life. I did like an F45 class in high school before. I think I only ever did one, but I honestly can't even remember it. And it was like so long ago and it's just not the same vibe as like what I'm gonna do today. So this is kind of like my first real workout class. We're gonna go downtown today and do a workout class. Talia is gonna come meet me here and then we're gonna drive from my place to downtown she's actually been there before um and she really likes it so we're just gonna go to the same place that she likes but i'm honestly really excited because it just kind of switches things up from doing what i do every day is like go to the gym and i've been really wanting to try a workout class to experience it just because i literally always just go to the gym so it's fun to switch things up especially with your workout because working out is something that i sometimes dread and probably a lot of people do as well so if you could switch it up and like do something fun with a friend it's definitely worth it yeah so i'm hoping to get a lot done today since it's so early and i have the whole day ahead of me but i'm feeling pretty tired this morning to be honest like i'm not it's not horrible but definitely i'm lacking that one hour of sleep because i went to bed at nine because i knew i just couldn't fall asleep at eight o'clock that's just so early yeah maybe i'll just take a nap later but we'll see today's gonna be a fun adventure i was reading my comments on my video that i did when i woke up at 5 a.m for a week and a lot of you guys wake up at five or earlier i was like damn like wow i didn't know so many people did that so talia isn't coming until 8 30 because our class is at 9 30 so i still have so many hours but right now i'm just gonna go and make my bone broth and do my morning routine <laughs> This is my all-time favorite setup in the morning, you guys. My five-minute journal. I have my bone broth, my journal if I want to write anything, and then I also have my book. It's just like such a peaceful layout to have in the morning. <laughs> you guys is honestly the best thing ever i think it's called like a boar bristle brush i'm not exactly sure but it's so good if you want to do like a sleep back look like just like putting your hair back i don't know what i would do without this like i wouldn't be able to actually sleep back my hair like this thing is actually the best thing ever but it's from the brand goodie <laughs> Just 
Okay guys, it's about 12.30 and I just got back from the workout class. It was honestly so much fun and I can see why people love going to workout classes and kind of get addicted to them because you're kind of in a room with everybody who's working out and holding you accountable other than working out yourself where you're the only one holding yourself accountable so you, it's easier to quit, it's easier not to go as hard because you don't have somebody yelling at you 24 seven and saying like hyping you up. You don't have music blaring. I guess you can have music blaring, but like you know what I mean. And also seeing the other people like doing really good like motivates you to like keep going and push through it and i don't know it's so much fun like i wish i tried a workout class sooner because i had a lot of fun especially doing it with a friend like it was so much fun and making like a date out of it like going to coffee after and if i did a workout class every day i'd be so excited to work out like are you kidding me that was amazing now i understand why people prefer that over just going to the gym i mean to be fair, it is a lot more expensive to do a class every day than go to a gym, but I can see why people are willing to spend the money because it's so worth it. Like, just so motivating in there. If you guys can, if you have the resources around you, um, definitely go in and try a workout class, even if it's just like you pop in and do one, like grab a friend. And a lot of the times when you sign up, they have like a deal like, oh, get your first class free or whatever. I've been missing out. And I wish I did it sooner, but but yeah, anyways, I'm so glad that I did that. Such a fun morning. So I'm just gonna take a shower and then we'll get on with the rest of our day. Okay guys, so I just showered and I'm just getting ready to go out to a cafe. I'm gonna go out with my sister and we're gonna have a bit of an editing date. So I'm just gonna do my makeup and then get ready for the day. I just got a Sephora package in the mail. I ordered this makeup by Mario. It's called the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light Medium. So I'm gonna try it. I think I just put my brush in and then... Oh my God, okay. Ooh, this is so good. I've been looking for just a cream bronzer exactly like this. I was thinking of buying the Chanel one, but then I saw this one and I'm like, ooh, may as well try this one out because sometimes I don't really feel like contouring and this just makes it so much easier. I don't really like using powdered bronzer. So this is actually really good because I don't do heavy makeup anyway. So I'm not a big contourer. Like I don't know how to contour my face. This makes it so easy. My eczema around my eyes is starting flare again. It was doing good for a while. I don't know if I have a new viewer and they're like, what is that eyeshadow on your eyes? I just want to make sure that you don't think I'm I just wear pink eyeshadow for fun. But I've been really into going to cafes to edit lately because I feel like I'm so productive when i go to a cafe because i have no distractions like at home i have so many distractions like oh i'm gonna go clean the kitchen i'm gonna go make some food or whatever because everything is around you but when i edit in a cafe i just can't go anywhere like i have no distractions so it kind of just forces me to put my head into work and just get shit done but last night i literally had a mental breakdown pretty much because i am so stressed this month you guys will find out why soon but this month is so stressful for me and I was freaking out last night. And then I just kind of had to remind myself that we're on a floating earth in the middle of space. Just take it day by day, just breathe and everything is gonna be okay. You just have to realize that as long as you focus on your next step rather than like looking at the whole picture, it's not that stressful. But anyways, I just bought this Too Faced blush in the shade Cloud Crush and it looks like the most pretty blush ever. Ooh, it matches me actually, I didn't even do this on purpose. Oh my god, that is so cute. This is like the cutest blush ever, are you kidding? I'm just gonna put a bit of that. So pretty, I'm obsessed with blush, it's actually an addiction. This is the cutest packaging ever, I'm obsessed with it. Oops, I forgot to put on setting powder. I'm just like trying to rush. Brittany's waiting for me. I'm just gonna put some mascara on real quick. That is the final makeup. Just very simple. I'll literally just put concealer and then use all the rest. Okay, guys, so it is time to get ready for the day. I'm gonna pick out an outfit, but first, I would love to thank Pepper for sponsoring this video. So, if you guys are a part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee or have small boobs, then you should definitely check them out because they are a bra company who specialize in providing bras for small, busted, beautiful bodies, and they range from size A. AA and then to B. So if you guys don't wear bras because they're uncomfortable, you don't like the fit of them, I can relate because I haven't worn a bra for like, I'm not even kidding, probably a year or longer now because I don't know, I just find them usually so uncomfortable because I haven't been able to find bras that, that I actually feel comfortable in. So as you can see, 
This one fits me so nicely and it's just seamless. There's no wires digging into my skin. I just feel like it's perfectly catered to my size. And all I have to do is go online. They have like a measurement chart there where you guys can measure yourselves to figure out what your perfect size is gonna be. This is their lift up bra and usually when I wear a bra that has extra padding, I find them so uncomfortable and I just refuse to wear them because I feel like I can never move in my bras. Like I feel like I'm like that. But with this one, I'm like, I feel so comfortable and I feel like I can just move and actually go about my day without this bothering me and feeling the need to rip it off 30 minutes after putting it on. But I have actually napped in their bras. Like I didn't even feel the need to take it off when I napped and that is huge for me. The fabric of these bras are just so soft and that's a part of what makes them feel so comfortable they're just so i don't even know how to describe it like plushy and supportive and smooth you can wear them lounging around the house putting it under one of your t-shirts or even a tank top i've been wearing them just with everything around the house when i go out they're honestly so flattering they have an ultra flattering lift and scoop now after discovering them i am throwing out all my other bras even though i haven't worn them in so long i'm just gonna throw them out because what's the point of keeping them when they don't make me feel good and they don't make me feel comfortable and from now on i'm literally just gonna have the bras that they gifted me because i know that whichever bra i go and choose it's gonna be comfortable it's gonna fit me right and i'm actually gonna be able to wear it all day and so yeah if you guys want to shop them you guys can use the link in my description and use my code michaela 20 to get yourselves 20 percent off on their website and i'll have all the bras that i'm wearing in this video also linked down below for you guys but anyways let's get ready for the day um, I'm just gonna keep this bra on because it honestly this bra makes me feel super confident because it gives my boobs a bit of a lift But I kind of want to go for a cozy vibe today So I think I'm just gonna put on a crew neck and then just leave these sweatpants on because I'm just gonna go edit at the cafe okay, I think this is gonna be the little lazy fit for today I just got so much editing done at the cafe. I was going ham. We were there for like, I don't know, four or five hours. We were there for so long and I feel so productive. But now I'm just gonna stop off at the grocery store before going home because I just need to get a couple of things for my smoothies in the morning that I'm running out of. And I also kind of want to get a kombucha. So I'm gonna do that. And I also want to stop in at Shoppers because I really want to get new like headbands. I want like a gray one because I only have black I could just look in my car. Oh, he's putting tags on the wheels. Anyways, I really want to get headbands because I only have a black and a white one, but I want to get a gray one because headbands are just so convenient and mine are kind of like really old and I don't know. I just want to see if I can buy just a pack of like two or something at Shoppers and see if they have anything. I tried to look on Amazon and they don't have good selection. I'm like, what? It might just be Amazon Canada, but literally they had like one, two pack of like black, but it's like, I don't, I want a gray one too. So we're going to go in and see what they have and yeah, just shop around. So yeah, let's go in. It's currently, I think about like 4 o'clock or 4.30 right now. Okay, just got back inside. So I ended up getting two of these pink vitamin waters because they're so cute and I don't know I always get kombucha so I'm like why not switch it up and this pink flavor is so good so I just bought one for me and then went to bring home to Joel and then at shoppers I was looking at their headbands and they didn't really have that good of a selection so I'm just gonna see if I can like find some elsewhere or maybe another website online but i decided to pick up this palmer's skin therapy cleansing oil but apparently palmer's is actually a really good affordable brand so i'm like you know what may as well start here and try their cleansing oil because i just actually bought their skin serum their face oil so and this is their cleansing oil it's their cocoa butter formula with vitamin e so i feel like this is going to be really hydrating especially with my eczema so i'm like really excited to try this it was only like ten dollars and then i just got cucumber <laughs> and ginger but yeah these pink vitamin waters are so rare so whenever i see one now i just have to buy it because they're always sold out i feel like okay let's go home 
Okay, so I just got home, but I thought that I'd show you guys my Sephora haul since I didn't show everything before. So I got the makeup by Mario, the bronzer skin perfecter. Then I got the Too Faced blush, which I absolutely love, these two. And then I just got a refill of my Oak Cleansing Balm from the Inky List. And then I decided to try out this Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Pistachio. This actually went viral on TikTok, so I just had to try it because it finally came back in stock and I've been wanting to try it for so long. So I got that and then I just got this K18. I just used my points to get this because I really wanted to try the full size, but I just decided to go with the sample just to see how I like it before committing because it is quite expensive. It's like $100 for the full size. Apparently this stuff is so good. So I'm really excited to try it. I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then I just got this Moroccan oil hair oil. Then I just got the Ordinary um, Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I've been using this for like a few months now. So this is just a restock, but I absolutely love it. And yeah, this is my little haul. I was just watching Love Island. I watched like an hour of it. Now it's time to get ready for bed. It's currently 8.30. It's honestly not worth it waking up at 4. It's just too early, okay? Like I have nothing to wake up at 4 for. Like I don't have to clock in at work. I make my own hours. So there's really no point to it. I feel like waking up at 5 is like good for me because I get that extra one hour so I can get eight hours of sleep. I mean, if I had to wake up at 4 for work, it would definitely be more motivating to do it because I have to do it. But other than that, you know what? I'll pass and I'll continue waking up at five. Like I thought that extra hour of the day would do something for me, but it really didn't if I'm honest. It honestly just made me super tired. And yeah, I just want to do it again. But if you guys are feeling stressed right now because I was feeling really stressed yesterday. And if you're in the same boat as me, where you're feeling stressed right now, one thing that really helps me, like I was saying earlier, just realizing that we are on a floating planet in the middle of space, like just zoom out of it and realize that things are not that serious. And although something may seem like a big deal in the moment and right now, when you feel like you have a lot on your plate and there's not enough time to get everything done, if you feel that way, just realize that like, all you have to do right now, like all there is to do and all you could do is take the next step and that's it. So whatever the, that next step is, that's all you should be worrying about. Instead of scaring yourself and kind of trying to accomplish everything you need to accomplish and everything you're stressed about all at once, you kind of got to do little baby steps. And if you have a big task, it's really daunting and you're stressing about it, break it up into little tasks and work on it every single day. Even if you do like 20 minutes a day, at least you're working towards it. Because I'm somebody who procrastinates big tasks because they scare me. But if I just break them down and I realize, look, I can do this spread out into a week, two weeks. And as long as I'm doing something small for it every day, then you it's gonna get done but you just have to realize that okay all i have to do right now is just the next step i don't need to do the last step i don't need to do the middle step i just need to do the next step and that's the best i can do right now and there's no point of stressing because when i was stressing last night i'm like i was just feeling like shit. but it didn't do anything for me it didn't make the stuff i was stressing about disappear it really didn't do anything for me except make me anxious so just know that stressing about it is not doing anything positive it's just harming your mindset and it's causing your body stress so there's no point you just gotta zoom out you guys that's what works for me every single time it's just really realizing like shit we really are on a floating planet in the middle of the universe like what is life about at the end of the day it really just helps me see how i shouldn't be stressing about something so small when i know that everything is going to be okay and in a year's time i'm not even going to remember you know anyways i hope that helps you guys if you're stressing right now as well just I mean, it could be about anything, something small, something big, but just know that it's okay and we're chilling, okay? Everything will work out in the end. Okay, I know I literally look crazy because my eczema cream, but I just wanted to end off today's video here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you guys want to see more content from me because there is a huge announcement coming soon so don't forget to put on your bell notification so you guys know when i post and also go follow me on instagram but i'm so excited you guys finally let you know what's happening i just wanted to also say thank you guys so much for the extra i feel like i've been getting extra love and support on my recent videos and i just wanted to say i appreciate every single one of you who like my video who watch it who comment um every little interaction every comment i see and i just want to say thank you so much and i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart
but anyways i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video